In Parametric House, we are starting a new video series called Brainstorming. And in this video, I'm going to explain why uh, we are starting these videos, how they can help you to learn Grasshopper faster and easier, and improve your parametric thinking. So in this video, I'm going to answer three questions. Why we are starting these videos? Uh, how are we going to help to learn Grasshopper faster? And what are we offering? So the first thing is, why are we starting these series? The most important thing about Grasshopper is that a Grasshopper is a really complicated software. So you can see that uh, Grasshopper is made from components and you have to connect these components together to produce something and there are many many plugins which you can install uh, and it's a little bit complicated to know which plugin to use when and uh, so the problem is learning grasshopper is a little bit difficult and we had this experience about teaching grasshopper to nearly 300 to 400 architects uh, industrial designers and students and they had a really hard time to uh, just handle Grasshopper and that is because uh, Grasshopper is a real uh, complicated software and it's just like learning a new language. It's just like learning the alphabet, making words and taking those words into sentences and make a meaningful uh, paragraph. So the most important thing is uh, the reason we are starting these series is that Grasshopper is complicated and we know that. So the second uh, question is uh, how are we going to tackle this problem? So uh, what I'm going to do is to first of all uh, pick some simple uh, examples by simply searching for parametric design or just write, write grasshopper example something like that and pick small uh, examples something like this and uh, record a small uh, short video maybe one to two minutes and ask you a week before we start the base uh, video tutorial the real video tutorial which will explain from scratch how to model this and a week before that we're going to ask you how are you, how do you model this in step by step so we are going to collect the comments and uh, we are going to make an engagement uh, in about how we model something in Grasshopper. So it's not really important, but the users can simply uh, put their thinking that I'm going to first draw a line or maybe just draw a point and move that point, uh, rotate that point, extrude it or uh, array that. So it's not really important, but the first thing about how we're going to solve this problem is to uh, make designers and architects to think about uh, how they can solve the problem. So this is the most important thing about a parametric design and this is the first stage of uh, researching on the parametric model so they can think that okay if I want to start this from scratch uh, as you can see here I'm going to start with a, a parameter and what it will it be and uh, by time they can improve their parametric thinking. So we're going to give a um, small video tutorial uh, a week before the video tutorial, base video tutorial, and ask you uh, your uh, comments or opinions about modeling this. And after a week, we are going to give the main video tutorial and also answer uh, the questions or comments and say that maybe, yeah, that's good, or no, maybe we can solve this in another way. Uh, so we're going to have a discussion about week about that example and we will record the main video tutorial and put that a week after that uh, uh, basic uh, brainstorming video which is a sm short video tutorial of examples. The most important thing about the examples is that we're going to pick some examples or you can also comment on this video uh, if you have any questions, maybe it's a simple one, but don't uh, go too complicated because uh, you can't learn Grasshopper if you're just going to combine techniques. And we are trying to give small 
little steps or techniques so you can combine them later it's just like uh, making food you can uh, combine things and bake them and make something and you, you can also uh, combine them combine them in many ways so remember to just ask simple questions and we will pick uh, uh, three each week and uh, put a video tutorial a week later the second thing is that we're going to pick uh, one of our uh, active users in the comments so uh, be sure to comment on the on different videos which we put up and we're going to pick uh, one active users from those discussions and give them a free uh, access to a three month free access to our grasshopper course which they can download uh, the uh, grasshopper files definitions of these things and also additional video tutorials and also uh, those uh, who have inter uh, enrolled in the course and are, they are also engaging in the conversation we will also give them a uh, free three months uh, additional subscription to their subscription so be sure to comment on the brainstorming videos give your uh, ideas and say that maybe I, I'm going to model this like that uh, or maybe I'm going to use a Voronoi or maybe I'm just going to use sections and loft this uh, to produce the surface or maybe uh, I'm just going to uh, draw a simple curve and move the center and then extrude that so uh, be sure to think about it and engage in the brainstorming videos a week before uh, we put uh, the main video tutorial and you can also send your um, uh, examples you think that it's appropriate to learn grasshopper because we're not going to enter uh, hard ones or complicated ones and we are going to just simply uh, start with uh, simple questions or simple examples which we can solve uh, in maybe a 10 or 20 minutes of grasshopper tutorial okay thank you for watching and be sure to like our videos because you're going to hear more about us and Google would just suggest our videos to you and subscribe to our channel.